Good morning from our closet. It is laundry day. And as you can see, I have a lot of laundry to do. I haven't done any laundry since, well, all of Ireland and then all of last week. So definitely gonna catch up on that today. I try to be a big fan of batching. Batching is doing a bunch of stuff all at the same time. So let's say like all your text messages, for example. I wish I could get into this, but all of your text messages like or emails you knock out at 11 a.m. each day and then you don't do them again. Like, so you do like an hour of emails at 11 a.m. and you don't look at your emails the rest of the day. You do laundry on Tuesdays every week and you don't touch your laundry the rest of the week. That is true. I haven't done laundry once since I've lived here, but I'm doing it today. Hey! Poppy threw up on the sheets last night. So the sheets are in the wash right now. She actually threw up all over my laptop and the sheets, so I kind of cleaned off my laptop. I need a good like electronic wipe. You guys know of a brand or anything that's a good, like you can wipe down your electronics or spray and like wipe them down because I don't want to jack on my laptop. But Poppy threw up everywhere last night, so it's laundry cleanup day. Just, it's gonna be a good day, but got a lot of things to do. Ready to go? Let's do it. I got through one load of laundry and then decided to come to the gym because I have a bunch of work to get done. Every time I come to the gym, it seems like we have new offices. And right now, I'm out out of the other office into the main area because we're expanding so fast here at Fitness Culture. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be fun over the next couple of years seeing this girl. Hopefully, building our own gym. Just crazy busy. Crazy. I probably need an assistant, but I travel too much for an assistant. But what we're gonna do right now? My kid sister. Well. I, she's not exactly my sister. I actually lived with her family for a minute when I was going to college. Um, she's 21, she has this boyfriend, and she asked if he could come in and work out today. So we're gonna go down there, we're gonna mess with them a little bit. We're gonna train with them, but we're gonna mess with them a little bit. Should we go do that? Let's go do that. What is going on? How are you guys doing? Uh, getting ready for my fitness instructor. <laughs> What's your name? Tiara. Kate. Kate. Yep. Kate. What are your intentions with Tara? I try. I, I tried to get Tara dates on YouTube before. Are you ready to train today? Yeah. What are you? Where are we working? What now? are we? Yeah. Were you planning on leg day? No. You get your legs my legs are just sore. Are you sore? Yeah. You still want? You want to look cool for the video? Leg day every day. No. <laughs> look at it. You even foam roll, bro? Do I what? Do you even foam roll? See, I, I told Tara, what did I tell you? I told you, you I couldn't date a dude who I tried to teach roll. him, I did. Like this? What are you doing, bro? <laughs> yeah, that works. <laughs> really Tara runs track at the University of Utah Valley State College. How does it go? What is it? UVSC? No. UVSC. Utah State University. Oh yeah, Utah State, Utah no. Valley Utah University. Valley University. Utah, Utah, Utah State's... No Alright. That's where she goes to school. Now where do you go to school right now? BYU. <laughs> BYU? Yeah. Are you going next semester? Yeah. Are you? He also owns a house flipping business. It's true. What that is it is called? True. It's called Holy Flip. Holy Flip. Holy Flip. All I know is if he wasn't going to school, I'd ask him why he's dropping out of school. Oh, you think you're just gonna make it in the world without going to having a college education, son? Get yourself a college education out there. Did you get taller since the last time I seen you? How tall are you? 6'3? 6'2. 6'2. It's gonna suck How tall today. Are you? It's gonna 6'1. It's gonna suck today when we're doing pull ups and those long arms. I'm not 6'1. What are you talking about? How tall are you? 5'9. You are pretty tall. See how my man does when we put him through the swole program. The swole program! What we got today is a back day. Back and, uh, back and biceps, pretty much. So we're gonna get after that. We're gonna put him through his paces. We're gonna put at least 10 pounds on him. You can't be dating a dude who you got as big muscles as, okay? I know, you see these bad boys? You ready to do this? What are you weighing right now? 175. You're six foot two? Yeah. 175? Yes. We gotta go, we gotta go at least two hundo. We gotta see two hundo on the scale if we're doing I this. Agree. Okay? I agree, I agree. After we're done here, he's gonna be... Today? Oh, yeah, today, no. <laughs> Goal for him. We're gonna be swole program, 6'2", he needs to be at least 200. He's gonna be okay. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> All right, what we got, he said wide grip. We got three warm up sets, and then we're gonna be jumping into our working sets. Today, the working sets, 12, 10, and then I'm gonna go 12, 10. So 
do four sets total, two in front, 12, and then another set of 10, and then two behind, 12, and another set of 10. I've been asleep for so long, asking yeah, where you go. All alone in this dark place, and inside, the perfume is strong. And it's on me, waiting on you to call me. Into our working sets now, hit failure. I don't want you guys stopping at 12 or 10. You gotta hit failure on these. Come on. Are you being nice? Am I being nice? Yeah. Put the fear in God of a cheat on Tara. The whole wrath of everyone who follows me will be all over your ass, Cade. Okay, Cade? All right, let's do some uh, seated row. And you can't look at Tierra this whole time. If you look at Tierra at all, I know you're a sissy. Who says sissy? No one even says that word anymore. On this seated row, so it's four sets total. Oh, we're just doing four sets, 12, 10, eight, six. I'm um, starting off close and then just switching up the grip. Um, we're gonna go wide, up top, and then close to finish it off. Set the shoulder blades. Usually a lot of indiscretions in relationships happens at the gym. You guys gotta go to the gym together. All of a sudden, Tara gets his personal trainer. His name's Hans, he's from Sweden. He's got long blonde hair. Damn Swedish. Yeah, you don't work out, so what does she do? She's working out at the gym with Hans. Sweating on him. Hans? Yeah. You got a name Just saying, that, Tara. All you guys out there who don't work out, and your girl's going to the gym working out with a Hans, watch yourself. Come on. Wait a minute, what kind of guy goes to school and doesn't know the fight song? You got no, you got no pride in your school? No. Do you have any pride in your girl? Yeah. Cade, I need you to learn the BYU fight song by the end of this video. What? Third exercise for back, we got a bat wing T row. So instead of just coming straight back, like we're doing a normal row, we're gonna be out to the side. 90 degree angle is what we're gonna finish at here or even a little bit higher. But what I want, I don't want that elbow back there. I want it straight out to the side here. You're gonna probably have to lighten it up a little bit. That's not how it goes, Tira. It's on the wall. We, a million times we turn it before we turn on the camera. Last set, best set. First set, best set. So, one of the telling signs if a relationship is going to succeed or not is how the other person spots when the other person's struggling. In this exercise, this is coming. we're gonna need you to spot Tira. Oh. Tira? Right here. Well, Dr. Cook in the house, how do you talk when your partner is failing? How do you talk when your partner is struggling with something? Do you build them up or do you tear them down? Kate, would you please join the exercise? Yep, yep, spot her, spot her now. Spot her? I don't spot her. Spot. Like, but now, okay, now you're struggling. Now you're struggling. Ah, what are you I'm gonna say? Struggling. What are you gonna say? You're struggling though. I'm the hottest Kate, girl. Five I'm Kate, five more. I'm the hottest girl. Four, eight, ever had. four, three, two. I'm not gonna lend a hand. Lend a hand. She's struggling. Let's go. I need you to grab my butt and help. <laughs> Fail. That's why Fail. I can't do anything. If that Cade would have inappropriately original. touched here there, boom. He's out, done, but he didn't. For all you guys out there, first lesson, if you're just new to dating, don't spot your girlfriends. If you're trying to press a girl to the gym, walk up to her in a real creepy gym douche voice and say, hey, I need a spot. I have this machine, the hammer strength. You can also do it with just a cable. We're trying, to pull, we're trying to pull as low as possible. So this one, obviously, it has a set path for us. We're gonna be squeezing all the way to that top part of your hip, all the way up, all the way down. And what we're doing is, Going over here, dumbbell, lap pull over, slight bend in the elbows, squeeze at the top. This is just a great lat, this is my, one of my favorite lat, lat superset, lat finishes. Hey. 
He's learning. He's a quick learner, Tierra. Coach him up. You. I'm about to lock you in a castle at the top until you're 36. You're in. Uh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty much it for our back workout. Kay did pretty good. How you feeling? You're already yeah. looking bigger. You look about like 178 now. Yeah? She turned sideways, I lose him. I've literally been in the gym today. I just like, where's Cade? It's because he turned sideways. So we're trying to create some back thickness on him. Right now we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty. We're gonna see what kind of answers Cade has from Cade has for my rapid fire question round. These are important. You gotta be right off the top of your head. So we're just gonna sit down, just gonna have a nice talk, man to man. You get the smaller one because you're taller, man. I wanna be looking you in the eye from a place of authority. First question, where do you see yourself in five years? Real estate, graduated. Wrong answer. You're supposed to say I'll be at least 200 pounds by then. 200 pounds. 200 pounds. Ascension, 405. Wow, you're, you're gonna quadruple what you bench right now. <laughs> That's hurtful, man. That's hurtful. What do you think your biggest strengths and weaknesses are, besides the obvious? Probably I care too much. Did you just quote the office on yeah. me? You did. <laughs> you think you're gonna sneak by a quote? I know every single quote. It's a move I would pull. You can't, you can't bullshit a bullshitter, Kate. First fight, who says sorry first? Oh, me. You say sorry first. Every time. Every time. Happy wife, happy wife. But only if you're weighing over 10 pounds. You a dog or a cat person? Dog. Good answer. What's your favorite kind of dog? German Shepherd. French Bulldog. Oh. Next question. <laughs> Where are you guys heading after this? Like pal. Are you sleeping in the same room? Of course not. There's no rooms up top. So you're on the deck? Yeah. Just you two? Yep. You know what they say. Back <laughs> rubs in the front room turn into front rubs in the back room? Or in this case, on top of the deck. No hanky panky. No Lake, Lake Powell. Panky, no. I'm all business in Lake Powell. Because I got cameras everywhere. I installed the last time I was there, GoPros. We left one there. It's still running, live. I'm gonna need you to sing the BYU fight song. Okay. Best of your ability. Mm -hmm. Go. Rise and shout, the Cougars are out. We are the best school. That's it, yeah. Dixie State really sucks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's all I know. I love Dixie State, but we did suck. We were really, really bad. <laughs> did you play any sports in high school? Uh, no. How many days a week do you work out right now? Six. What's I your do. favorite body part? My shoulders. At what point in your relationship did you realize she could probably beat you at everything? Day one. <laughs> day one. Yeah, day one. <laughs> Thank you guys for being on this episode of Counseling with Cook. Um, <laughs> Counseling with Cook. I am here. I'm here six days a week when I'm in town. If you guys have any issues with your problems, He's come not on qualified. in. He I'm, charges a lot of money. I too. do charge a lot of money, so this is not worth money. My advice to you: work out together. All right. Not because that makes couples actually work, but because you guys, Kate needs it. <laughs> <laughs>